Okay, you join me on a very, very blustery, dark and actually wintry morning. I'm here at Karakalinga. What a mouthful. And I'm hoping to catch up some uh, wave action, but we're not going to get a sunrise. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to get, but let's, uh, let's venture off into the dark and see what what we get. Good morning. Oh. Join me on a wild and blustery day. Um, you may notice that I'm a little later than usual. I'm getting to my location oh, on purpose this time. You notice that we've got some rather heavy uh, cloud here. And so, so there's going to be absolutely no chance of getting any, any morning light whatsoever. So we're here at first light. So I'm afraid. Hey, how you doing? I'm here at um, Karakalinga Beach and this is my little third attempt to try and photograph here. First day it was uh, pure blue skies but very high winds and I just couldn't even set up without anything, everything blowing over. I came here yesterday and some of you may remember that uh, my road um, transmitter microphone setup had gone, died, so I uh, had had it for a while, so that was not completely unexpected. Um, so I got a replacement, and it was a cheaper replacement, and um, yesterday came down. It was not going to be a very bright or colourful sunrise, far too much dense cloud for that, um, but I thought it might make something very interesting, moody. Uh, black and white possibly but yeah some some moody shots along this coast which is beautiful and uh, <laughs> uh, the wind uh, took over blew over the uh, the GoPro and the tripod and the poor substitute for a road transmitter um, well the connection on it snapped and off it flew down into the sea <laughs> now I'm here for the third time for the third day in a row and it's absolutely piddling down. So, <sighs> oh dear, I'm I'm going to get out. I'm going to get my kit. I'm going to go out, but um, I've got to be especially careful. Uh, I'm not going to put my wellies on. I'm going to keep my boots on because there's a lot of uh, rock trails here, and water and granite don't mix too well. So I'm going to have to be. Uh, exceedingly careful, much more careful than normal, so um, we'll see. And you know, if it doesn't work out, I'll retreat back to the car, and there's always another day. <sighs> let's get out, let's get wet, let's see what we can do, and uh, hopefully, mm, hopefully, we can get something. So, see you out there. So, there's that beautiful scene in front of us. So, let's See if we can set ourselves up. Capture the image I wanted to yesterday. Now the waves just aren't as savage as they were yesterday. Not at all. 
but let's, uh, let's see what we can recreate. Let's uh, focus on this near rock. There we go, we've got some water, beautiful. That was uh, six and a half seconds, too fast, uh, too long, so I'm just going to pull that back down to manual. And I'm going to manually adjust this now. So really one about yeah, a couple of seconds, second and a half, and I can raise the shadows. I'll just go 64, um, 640, um, 640 ISO. Let's wait for another one. We'll get one. We will get one. We've got some nice pretty cloud um, above the top bank of Yik. Uh, but that's the rain that's been coming through. And there's many clouds behind us too. So let's just wait for one more nice wave to come in from the bottom left. And if you notice, it fills it fills that centre area with a little bit of of water. You can see just there. take my time going down I'm not sure it's going to work out, but there's an interesting sort of vortex swirl that happens when the water sweeps out. So I'm hoping to capture that in the bottom, in the bottom left. But I need to see if it's actually photogenic or not. I'm not sure it is. I probably have to come maybe down to a second. And I've got to time it at exactly the right spot. I think that works, that's nice. So I've got to have a high enough wave to come over and then catch it on the way out. And it gives a beautiful swirl. 
in there. So fingers crossed, we get another couple of those. having it on the tripod I held it and did it by hand so hopefully that might have worked out Okay, we are up to our nether regions in oh, seaweed, as you can see, and I'm actually going to place, oh, I need something solid to place, whoa, yeah, place the tripod on. There you go, something solid. Although the third leg. Ah. Well, I wanted a wave and now I'm soaked, completely soaked. Ah. <laughs> Isn't that half the fun? Oh dear, soaked as hell. Ah. Right, let's get set up as quickly as we can. Let's level it quickly. Let's level that ISO down. There we go. Let's very quickly grab. A filter or two. I actually think two here. Slide them in, ready. 1.2 in a 0.9. Better. Okay, we've got one second. Now where's that great big wave from before? Hey. I'm going to take the sides anyway because I like to have I like to have the rock in focus front to back and then I only have to consider as water's nice going out nice going in it's nice 
when you just get a quiet period, quiet moment, and that water runs out. Yeah, so we need these waves to sink so that we get that big, big wave coming through. And you notice I'm just, I'm just taking images, I'm just going into the middle of the scene. Uh, oh, you know what? I've knocked. There we go. Now, I've just knocked it to F4, so I need to come up a touch. Shadow recovery is great on this, so I shouldn't need too much, but yeah, let's just try and grab a great big wave. So I've tried to have this so that the water fills the gully and draws your eye through and out. And there's a little rock out there that you can see. There's actually a row of rocks, but when the, wind, when the water comes in, it, it obscures most of it. There you go. And you can only see one of them or one part of it. So let me have a little check of that. And that's quite pretty. That is really pretty. ourselves slightly this way that's better now we're getting it now we're getting what I thought we could get oh I'm glad I wasn't there I'm glad I wasn't there okay um, yeah so this is oh look at this bloody well got me anyway it got me anyway can you believe that oh it was determined to get me wasn't it and it did and it damn well did So what I envisaged was the water coming in as a, as a nice swirl, slightly heavy to the right, taking you out through that little gully to the little rocks that are just out, that you can just see out there. So let me make sure I've caught one or two of these. In fact, let's check and see if we caught that big. Big one, and I think we did.
I think we're about done here and we're in a, a little hollow, so I'm not going to be able to get anywhere else, I don't think. And uh, the rain is, is starting to come in, so I'm going to pack up. Um, I'd just like to say, well, thank you for joining me here today. Uh, obviously, there's no Rafi, um, mainly because of these cliffs. It's a little bit dangerous for him. Um, he likes to explore and look over the top of these little cranks, and uh, I just I wouldn't be able to settle, so um, so no Rafi today. He'll probably join me next week, um, no doubt. But until then, please look after yourself, look after your loved ones. Until next time, see ya. Nice.